it's Laura here from Foodie Laura TV and I'm going to share with you my top tips for meal planning. My first advice is to only shop once and to take a shopping list with you. So this is a nice little meal plan. I bought this from Wilkinson, so it's got every meal on here and it includes breakfast, lunch and dinner as well as snacks. And I think that's a really important thing because when you meal plan, you can kind of go into it being all idealistic and say I'm going to only eat salads all week and then halfway through the week you really want a pizza or a chocolate cake or something. So when you're doing your meal plan and you need it to be realistic, include the foods that you do actually eat because if you miss something off that's when you're going to be popping out to the shops and buying things that you don't really need so you go oh I'll just go for my pizza or my bar of chocolate bottle of wine whatever it is and then you buy all those extras and it's a waste of your time doing that shopping as well if you know you're working late or you've got activities maybe after school activities or you've got somewhere to be and you're just not going to have time to cook plan that into your meal plan so maybe it's something you can prepare the day before or you can have leftovers just just be mindful of the time that you have. There's no point in saying you're going to cook um, maybe a big roast that's gonna take two hours if you know that you're really gonna only have 20 minutes to throw something onto the plates. Those are the nights when you might need to do something like a stir fry. So be mindful of activities and things that you've got going on. This is like a family planner from WH Smith and I always use this and there's only me and my boyfriend, we haven't got like a big family, but he does work shifts so I'll write his shifts in one column, I'll write any activities and events that we've got going on in another column and then I write the meals in the very first column. So it, it's great because either of us can look at it and cook tea, the ingredients are there in the fridge, but it also means when I'm doing my plan I can look across and see what events we've got going on and adjust the meals accordingly. Usually on a Monday I have a pretty easy meal because I do a big cook on a Sunday so I just don't need to cook that much on a Monday. But I've got plenty of time to spend in the kitchen on this day so instead of focusing on making tea I'm going to make some meals for the freezer and some breakfast bars so I'm prepared for the rest of the week then with breakfast. Even if it's just something simple like mince split it in half, you can make um, spaghetti, burgers, meatballs, shepherd's pie, just buy um, foods that you can really eke out over the week. That keeps your shopping um, bill lower and it also means the time that you're cooking in the kitchen is less because you can take that one portion of meat or cheese and put it into several dishes and maybe just cook one night like every other night and have leftovers the the second night or a meal that you've prepared the night before it's all about saving yourself as much time as possible it's fine not to cook every day you don't need to you can cook meals the night before and reheat them or you can have meals ready to go in the freezer and over on foodie laura tv i've got a whole video about meal prep for the freezer um, which you might like to check out and i also do a monthly grocery haul there and share everything that i've bought i actually plan for the whole month so i share everything that i buy over there. I try and grow a lot of my food too so there's some videos about gardening and all of the foods and things that I've been cooking and eating so do go and check that out if you'd like some more advice. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye!